Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Michaela and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, today I'm going to be doing some warm reviews along with my empties. I know for the longest time I've just been doing empties, but I do have a few things that I've been warming that I want to share my thoughts with. Some of these things it's because you can still order it now. And then some of them is because I'm going to put them away and kind of save them and move on to other things. And so I don't know that I'm going to be finishing them anytime soon. Anything that I did warm and I should be close to finishing next time, I'm not showing you today. So I'm just showing you a few of the things. This is not everything that I've melted the last couple weeks, um, but it's close. So first I'm gonna show you just two quick body care things that I finished. So I finished um, from Bath & Body Works a hand soap in Berry Waffle Cone. I love Berry Waffle Cone, one of my favorite scents. Um, I should have ordered two. And I love their foaming hand soap. I don't generally get the other one. I generally just stick with the foaming hand soap. And then I also have, and you can't even read the label anymore from Zape. I finished a um, whip soap in Fallen Berry. She knew that she had issues with her labels, so she did fix them. Um, it doesn't really bother me that much. I do have one of the pop top lids on this, so I will take this off, wash it off, and then move it to my next one. Um, Fallen Berries is really kind of just what it sounds like. It's really, to me, a very fall berry type scent. Probably not my favorite. I probably want to get this one again, but I don't hate it. Um, I'm still using the lotion. For some reason, I use the body, um, body soaps so much faster than I use the lotion, so I'm still using the lotion. I enjoy it. I don't hate it. It's just not like a love for me. So I like it and I love her whip soap. I love all of her body products. So if you haven't tried Zape's body products, I highly, highly suggest it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've been warming that I'm probably gonna put away. Some of them because it's just not the right time of year anymore. So I have quite a few scoops from L3 that I'm going to be putting back away. I tend to, these tend to last really well, so I'm not worried about them still being good come spring or summer next year. So the first one is Beach Nights, Pink Lemonade, Boardwalk Mallow Klaus, Happy Island Papaya. There's a lot going on in this one, and I don't really feel like I get everything in this one. Um, to me, it's just a really kind of Beach Nights, fruity, summery blend. Definitely more on the tropical fruits. Um, it's okay. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I will go ahead and finish using it. I love L3 scoops. They perform amazing in my home. I think that they do great whether you have like the hot plate warmers or if you have Scentsy warmers, I think they do great in all of it. Next, I have Blackberry Fizzy Pop and I love L3's Fizzy Pop. It's great. Um, I love this scent. It's just kind of, I'm in the fall mood. And so I'd rather save this for when I would enjoy it and it's just not right now. Um, so I'll pull this back out again when I wanna finish it. Yes, I would probably get this one again because I do love her Fizzy Pop and I love Blackberry. Um, Bum, Boom Boom Cream, Pink Frosted Cake and White Elephant Exchange. This one's really pretty too. I really like the Boom Boom with kind of that bakery scent combined. I still think the Boom Boom really comes out the strongest, but it kind of just softens it a little bit with the bakery. So I really enjoy this one. Again, it's just kind of, I'm really into the fall stuff now. So I'm going to put this one away until I would enjoy it more again. And then I do have a couple scoops from Zape. I'm still loving them, but I think I'm going to switch them out for some other ones. That way I'm kind of rotating what I'm getting through. So I did candy corn cake, which did not, I don't think it came, it did not come back this year, at least in scoops. Maybe it came back in clams, but I'm not sure. This one's from 820. I probably should just finish it up. Um, I really don't have that much left. So maybe I will just keep this one out and try and finish it up. It is so good and it is actually very strong. Sometimes I really struggle with these type of scents because that candy corn cake scent isn't always very strong, but this one performed amazing. I absolutely loved it. I love her scoops. I really feel for me and my home that her scoops do better with age. So um, I don't know how soon or if I'm going to melt very many of the new ones that I just got from her or if I'm gonna hold on to them next year. 
because these ones are performing amazing and this one is from 820 so I really enjoyed this one and then I melted Hocus Pocus which I don't does, oh it does have this in notes okay charred pine dried fall leaves and toasted marshmallow um this one's a very very smoky scent I really really enjoyed it um but it's not something I can melt every day. So I really get that pine and the leaves and the toasty, smoky scent. Oh, it's really good and I really enjoyed it. It's perfect for kind of those colder mornings. Um, so I'll probably melt it again this year, but I don't need to melt it again within the next couple of weeks. Okay, let me move these. I have so much stuff, I don't have enough room. Okay, so then I have a few like loaves and bags of things that I've been working on that I'm probably going to put away for now. So I have Witches Be Crazy from Teddy Bees. So I did use quite a bit of it. Um, this is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. I love this scent. This is a great scent. Um, if you've watched my Teddy Bees hauls recently, you know that I picked up a lot of the Witches Be Crazy blends. I just have a few other fall ones that I want to pull out for the next couple weeks. So I'm going to put this one away. I'll probably go back to it if we're honest and finish this up. I do have another tub of this. This will always be repurchased. I love this scent. And it's just, it's such a good creamy pumpkin pecan waffle blend. And so if you like pumpkin pecan waffles at all, then I highly, highly suggest that one. Let me see. So another one by Teddy Bees that I'm slowly working on. I don't think I'll put this one away, but it's going to take me a while to get through it. It's Spring Jubilee. So this one is peaches, apples, berries, and clean cotton sheets. So I really do get that really fruity smell with the clean cotton. Um, so I've just been using this one in my laundry room and bathroom, and it performs so good. Uh, you can see the size of pieces that I have it cut into. Um, and one little piece in those areas just performs amazing and performs all day. So if you like fruity, clean scents, you would definitely like this one. Um, even if it wasn't fall, I'm not sure that I'd want this in my whole house just because I'm not a huge like clean scent person. I don't mind it as much when it's combined with uh, fruit. So, um, From Sassy Girl Aroma, I did Southern Flair. So this is blackberry jam butter cookies, vanilla waffle cone and cotton candy. This is gorgeous. It doesn't even look like I used any, but I did. I did my whole downstairs. This is such a strong performer. I love her blackberry jam. You really get the waffle cone and the cotton candy. This is just, it is such a great scent. I love this scent, but I have other fall scents from her that I really want to work on. So I'm going to put this one away. I'll probably end up pulling it back out, but you know, you only have so much room to have things out in your melting basket. And so I want to trade out for some of my more fall buns from her. And then I've also been working on Cat Scratch Fever. Um, this one is Peppermint Sinus Relief. It's pretty new, it's from 822. I think I'm gonna put this one away. I haven't been having super great performance with it right now. And so I think I'm gonna put it away. I'm gonna pull out my pink Sleepy Time because that's older and I need to use it up anyway. To be fair, when I was using this, I was pretty sick. And so, you know, it's always possible that I just didn't get very much out of it because of that. When I smell it on cold, like it's so, so strong. So it could have been because I was sick, but I think I'm gonna pull out my pink sleepy time and work on that one for a while. Um, and then I'll come back to this maybe in a couple months. My nighttime blends takes me forever to get through because I only use a little bit every night. Um, another one that I've started working on is Lake House. So this is pine, lavender, and icy peppermint. This is from Salt Mountain Melts. I love this scent. I feel like it's a very unique scent and it performs really, really well. Um, that pine with the icy peppermint, it's just, it's so good. Um, it's like a different twist for me on a nighttime blend. Um, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it really, but it's it's delicious, not bakery. It's definitely peppermint pine heavy with that undertone of lavender. It's super pretty. I really enjoy this at night. Um, 
because of the lavender, I don't really find this to be a good like wintertime blend for me. So it's not like I would save this for wintertime because of the lavender. So I'll mostly just use it at nighttime. I have one that I've been working on from Victus Cheek, but I'm kind of wanting to put it away because I'm starting to run low and I would like to melt this during Christmas time. So this is Central Park Snow Globe. It's Peppermint Cream Noel. Such a good peppermint scent. Um, this is a Blossom Bar. This is all I have left. So I think I'm going to put it away so that way I can enjoy the rest during maybe December um, and melt it throughout my house. I do need to pick this up again when she offers it again. So I need to pay attention for when that comes up. Then I have a few from Super Tart. So I have Basic B, which is Peppermint Twist Pink Sugar and Vanilla Bean. Um, I do have a few things left. I'm probably gonna keep it out and keep working on it. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and share it. It's good. I feel like she has a good peppermint, but it's really just kind of a basic scent. It's nothing super special, but I really enjoy it at night. If I was ordering from her and it was available, yes, I would pick it up again. I don't feel like I need to request it though, because I feel like I can find it, I can get it just from whoever has a similar scent available. So yes, I would repurchase it, but I wouldn't like go out of my way just to get it. Um, another one that I'll probably keep working on, but it's gonna take me a little while, is Jackal. So I know this has a new name. I just went over the name in my haul. I don't remember what it is now, I'm sorry. So it's Blackberry Jam, Zucchini Bread and Toast Marlow. Um, I love this, this is super, super strong. It's a really great blackberry zucchini bread scent. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. I've already melted it once in my open concept area and I still have a ton left. Um, so I probably will continue to work on this the next few weeks. And then one that's gonna take me forever to get through um, is Mama's Family. So this one is Laundry Blackberry and Lemon Curd. So this is another one that I just melted in my laundry room. Um, so most of the time in my laundry room, if I'm doing something like, you know, jackal, I'll, I'll just put it in my laundry room also. But if I'm doing something that's a smaller size, like a souffle or something where I don't have enough to just kind of do everything down here, then I'll pull out something like the Mama's Family or Spring Jubilee and I'll throw that in there. Or sometimes even in my laundry room and bathroom, I'll do just ones that I have just extra little things. So Mama's Family is really good. I really enjoy it. It's a really great laundry scent, but again, it's a laundry scent. And I don't super love laundry scents. This is one that I should have just bought in a clam because a clamshell would have lasted me, you know, three uses at least, and that would have been sufficient. And then I could have bought it again, and yeah. So those are what I am working on. I do have just a couple more, just trying to make some room. Okay, so I do have a couple from Scentsy that I am working on that I did want to share. So um, the first one, and I just, I need to order more of this. I was actually really surprised how much I love this one. So this one is Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. This is in the Harvest Collection. You can buy it with the three pack. It comes with the Maple Rum Cake and Wild for Fall. Or if you want, you can add it to your club. You could do like a monthly club if you wanted to get more now. Um, and then you can always edit your club for the following month if you didn't want to get more. Uh, this one, it is so good. So I get, I don't, I don't know what the scent notes are. So I get a spicy, so a cinnamon clove spicy bakery pumpkin. Um, it's like the perfect amount of spice. So it is spice, but it's not like headache inducing. It's not overboard. It is such a beautiful scent. Um, I put it in my bedroom and bathroom and that's why I didn't finish it because since I only had one clam, I didn't have enough for my whole area down here. And it performed for well over 24 hours. I mean, when I actually took it out, like it was still there, but very, very light. Um, but I would say it was like medium strong in that area. 
and I really would like to get some more to kind of try it in my open area and see how it does. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, some of the ones I'll talk about later had too much spice for me and I didn't like it, but this one, this was a really nice one. I do think that I'm going to make another order and get a couple more of these and then um, I will add it to my club. But right now is really the time of year that I want to melt it. So I don't know. I mean, it's fine to have it in my, I have a quarterly club is what I signed up for originally. And so it's fine to have it in that and then I can save it for next fall, but I really would like to get two more clamshells to melt this fall and enjoy it. Um, the other one that I have that I, I did finish one of, and then I have some left of the other is Gimme Candy. So this one is not described as a candy corn scent, but really is a candy corn scent. Um, so I would say this was pretty comparable to the candy corn cake from Zape. Oh, this is so good. So I put this in one day after work, I believe, and um, like I was enjoying it. I really liked it, but then we had to go to my son's choir concert. When we came home, I wasn't to the door yet. My boys were the ones opening the door first. They opened the door and this scent just wafted out of the entire house. And I just got this huge whiff of it. It is so good. And like I said, candy corn scents to me, and even just vanilla bakery type scents in general, they can have a really hard time being strong and being smellable in my house, you know, especially with my tall ceilings. And I think other people can sometimes have that challenge too, just that vanilla bakery scents are just, they're more medium, you tend to lose scent with them faster. But this one did really good. I had this one performing for about 24 hours as well. I'm super, super impressed with how long these Scentsy clams are lasting. And um, I probably will pick up a couple more of these ones too. So let's go through the rest of my Scentsy. So I was gifted the sample in Huckleberry Hideaway. I did this in my laundry room, so I didn't go smell it as much as I would have liked to, but I really do enjoy this scent. It's very much kind of that berry scent with the woody scent, and I like it. I might order a clam of this, we'll see. It's not on my top list of things to buy, and I have so many things to buy, I have to be very mindful of what I'm getting. Um, the other one I did was this little sample in Cedar Cider. I did this in my bathroom. And again, it's just so hard to really, for me to get the true scent of something. I think this is kind of like a cider scent with a woody scent with it. Well, with cedar probably. Um, so I might want to try this in a clamshell so that I can really kind of get the scent of it and see what I think. Okay. So I did a baked apple pie. This is actually an older one that I got last year. Um, I just had it setting there. I probably had maybe eight Scentsy bars that I've just kind of had setting and I really haven't been using. This was okay. It performed really well. It lasted a long time. But to me, there's just something missing in this scent that I feel like I need for a baked apple pie. I don't know what it is. Like maybe to me, this almost smells a little bit more... You know what, it almost smells more like um, the apple cinnamon oatmeal without the oatmeal. So it's kind of that apple cinnamon type scent. I don't know, but to me, I'm missing something for the pie aspect. Like I'm not getting the pie note or maybe I'm missing kind of more of that brown sugary type scent that I would feel like, you know, a lot of apple pies have. So it's okay, um, I probably won't get any more of this. Um, this one kind of surprised me and I'm kind of tempted to buy a couple more just to try it again and then kind of not. If you have this one and hate it, go ahead and send it my way because I would like to try it in another room. <laughs> so it's Fairy Tale Pumpkin. Um, a lot of people seem to really hate this one and so I'm trying to remember what the set notes. It's like pumpkin, licorice, and is it plum, blackberry? Oh, I almost think it's blackberry. I don't remember. I need to start writing scent notes down for these. 
it smells really weird on cold, like really weird. But for me, at least, and in the room that I had it, and like I said, I kind of want to try it again. For me, at least, on warm, it transformed, and I liked it better, but it wasn't very strong. So maybe it's because it wasn't very strong that I liked it better. Maybe if it was stronger and I could really smell everything, I wouldn't like it as much. But um, it really, it turned nicer warming. Um, I like black licorice, and so... I know a lot of people don't, so maybe that's why I didn't mind this scent as much, but I also don't feel like I got like, ooh, that's black licorice, so I don't know. I enjoyed it. It was kind of a medium throw. Again, it lasted over 24 hours. I might purchase it again. I'm not sure yet. Um, okay, so this is another one from the Harvest Collection. This is maple rum cake. I did not like this on cold at all. Um, but on warm, oh my gosh, this is so good. I love this. It almost on warm gives me a little bit of a gingerbread type vibe. And so again, I really do think I want more of this. So I might just go ahead and order a couple more of the Harvest Collections. I don't like that we can't order these as single bars. I mean, I guess if we wanted to do the Scentsy Club, like I said earlier, you can do that. But I don't know, that frustrates me a little bit because I would love to be able to put these in a six pack and, you know, do the buy five, get one free. Um, next we have Hocus Pocus. So this one is blackberry, plum, cherry, and spiced vanilla. I wanted to love this one. I really did. I love plum scents and I feel like Scentsy does really great plum scents. And I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So what it smells like to me, and probably none of you will relate to this, so I'm sorry, but I used to make syrup all the time. Um, my grandma, she had a plum tree, and so I would juice the plums, and then I would can the warm plum juice. Um, one time, I had a bunch of cherries as well. I was able to go pick cherries, and so I did a plum and cherry syrup mixture. So I didn't add the sugar yet. It was just like the warmed cooked juices. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a warm cooked plum cherry juice. I really don't get the um, blackberry. And to me, it's not very sweet. And maybe a little bit of the warmed cooked is coming from the vanilla spice. It's making it smell maybe like a little bit of a spiced fruit. Um, this lasted forever. Um, so I took it out after uh, maybe 12 hours in my open concept area because I put this in when we watched the Hocus Pocus 2. Side note, totally loved it. I don't know if you guys did, but I thought it was great. Um, but I put it in a couple of my boys' rooms and it lasted like two days in one of my boys' rooms really kind of medium light as it went on, but it lasted a long time. So if you like kind of that cherry plum cooked juice scent, which I know a lot of people do, then I would highly suggest this. I've heard that it's similar to like the Tom Ford cherry perfume. I've never smelt it, so I wouldn't know, but I've seen that comparison a lot. So I don't think I'll repurchase this. Like I said, I want to love it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. So I don't think it's going to be one that I repurchase. I tend, I have decided for myself, I like brighter fruit scents and that's kind of a darker fruit scent. Um, the next one is the Disney Princess True Love Awaits. I don't remember what the scent notes were, but it was like different um, fruity scents. So I was really excited for this one. I don't get it so as much on cold, but on warm, to me, it smells like hairspray. I have no idea why, but when this is warming, it smells like hairspray. I did not like it at all. I was very disappointed. It lasted in a long time. No one else complained about it, but to me, I got a very like distinct hairspray scent on warm. So I will not repurchase that one. Um, the last one, this one was gifted to me. So this is Sips of Cider. Um, this one was too spicy for me. And it really, to me, it smelled like tea. So it smelled like you had a tea 
that you put a ton of spice in and you have it steeping. Like I don't really get apple or a cider note at all. Like I get a tea note with like cinnamon. So maybe even like you have really hot water that you just have a cinnamon stick sitting in. I don't know, it was very, very strong. The spice was very overwhelming to me. Um, I, I did not like this one. It smells like a weird cinnamon tea to me. I don't know, who knows? Um, I have two from Southbound. So I have just Beachy, which is rich vanilla, creamy coconut, summer sun and beach blankets. Um, this was good. I did it upstairs. I don't really remember a ton about it. I just kind of was trying to use up a few of my last summery scents. Oh, I don't like the way her clamshells smell. So her clamshells smell very plasticky. The wax doesn't smell like that, but the clamshells do. So that was okay. I don't know if I'd purchase it again. I have other beach scents I love. Um, Seaside Serenade, so this is sea breeze, ocean sands, and beach grass. Again, this was okay. It kind of runs a little, almost a clean smell to me. I'm not gonna smell it. I'm not gonna smell it in the clam. Um, it lasts a long time. It does, it performs well, but again, I have other sea beachy scents that I prefer that I would probably purchase again before that. Um, a clam from Super Tarts. This is Strawberry Daiquiri, oh, Galaxy City, if it's even the same name, sorry. Um, Strawberry Daiquiri, Mos Moscato, Cassis, and Sweet Pomelo. Um, this one, I don't even remember it melting. That's the problem when I do some of these upstairs. Yeah, I don't remember this one at all. This one was one that I got in either a D-stash or a swap because I don't have the date on it. It is a little squishy. I don't mind that they get squishy because they still perform well. Two from Sensational, so I have Twilight Leaves, which is Woodland Berries and Amber. I really enjoyed this one, it performed well. Um, I might repurchase it again if I saw it. Zen, um, this was okay. I probably wouldn't get it again. It performed really, really well, but a very fresh, clean type scent. And this was from 2018 and like it just blew me out of the house. So that's one thing that I find about Sensational wax is it tends to last forever. I don't have much of an issue with it. I don't know. Um, so I have quite a few from Bathing Garden. I don't remember all of these. So Bohemian Rhapsody from March of 21. Yeah, I don't remember this one at all. I don't have the scent notes. Um, fried Candy Donut, this one was good. I do have more of this one. Um, just kind of a really fried donut smell. I think it has a hint of a berry in it too, but I don't know. I'm not really smelling that right now. But yeah, I do have one of the big bars in this one. Um, root beer float. This is okay. I don't really like root beer and wax. It performed fine. No issues. Um, salted caramel popcorn. I absolutely loved this one. This one was really good. I do think that I have more of this one. Um, the thing that I find with the bathing garden is they have amazing scents. I love that she's fairly consistent about what she offers. If I find something I like, I can buy it again. But I find that so many of her scents are just like a medium throw for me, but they're like a consistent medium throw. So I don't generally ever have scents that I can't smell. It's just, they're not powerhouses. Um, purple lemonade slushy. I really enjoyed this one. I think I have more of this one as well. Yeah, this is just a really good purple, like lemon aid scent, but the lemonade is not overpowering at all. It's just like a, a berry lemonade. I did enjoy that one. And so because I consistently get more of a medium throw with those, I, I'm, de I'm deciding if I want to continue ordering as much from the bathing garden. I love her samples. I love her aesthetics. I love some of her different um, bath and body products. So I don't know, I probably will eventually, but she's not like on my list right now to purchase from. Okay, a couple more odds and ends. So we have a scent cup in Haunted Carnival from the Melted Moose. This is kettle corn, candy corn, and funnel cake. Oh, this is so good. So I cut this one into three pieces and I have two warmers in my bedroom, one in my bathroom, and I did it in there and just Every time I walked in there, it just smelled so amazing. I just wish, I wish, I wish, I wish it was easier to get her wax. Like 
I understand that she has had surgery recently and I know she loves her job, but man, her wax is so good. I just wish it was easier to get. Um, I have one from Beezy's Tarts. This was a scent cup in Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, Fruity Pebbles. Um, so I used this up. I just cut this one in half. Great Fruity Pebble scent. Ugh, Fruity Pebbles is one of my favorite cereal scents. It's delicious. I have not ordered from him. That was something I got in a random act of kindness. Um, I have one from that Smell Good shop. This was a scoopable. I just had a little bit left. This is Ichabod Crane, which is Creamy Pumpkin Toasted Coconut Pumpkin Crunch. This was so good. This was such a great scent. I thoroughly enjoyed this. So it's really a nice creamy pumpkin. You get more of the sweetness from the toasted coconut and then get that pumpkin crunch. Pumpkin crunch, it almost smells a tiny bit to me like pumpkin peanut brittle, but not really. But it's kind of like along that lines. I don't know if that's specifically what pumpkin crunch is supposed to smell like, but that's kind of what I got. This was delicious. This was so, so good. It was nice and strong. Um, I don't like the texture of her scoopables though, so I don't know if I'd get the scoopable again or if I would try and pick it up in her cubes, but I probably would get that one again if I made another order. And then one scoopable from L3 Waxy Wonders and Peppermint Sugar Cookie Royale. This is really good. This is so strong. I think it was, so I got this last year. I think it was Charity maybe. I was saying that this was way too strong for her. Like it is, it is so strong. Like it almost makes your eyes water, but it's, it's glorious. I love those strong scents and combined with the sugar cookie Royale, oh, it's, it's so good, it's so good. This one, I love melting at night. Come like December, January, I would melt it like during the day in my whole house. So I definitely want to pick up more of that. Okay, we still have more. So let's, let's do the British first and then we'll go through everything else. So I have um, October 1st through the 6th with Britta's Advent. I've been putting them back in the bag so I make sure to remember what day was what. Okay, I need to preface this by saying I love Britta's. These scents, every single one of them have been performing amazing, long lasting, super strong performance. My only negativity is with, I feel like some of these scents for me personally don't really fit the fall, October, Halloween time. So just let me preface that. I love Britta's. I love the scents. They perform amazing. I just feel like maybe some of the scents weren't kind of right for me for this time of year. But I really, really wanted to try this time to melt it every single day because in the past when I've had Advents, I haven't melted them on the days and I really this time wanted to, to try and do that. So October 1st, we had pumpkin heads. So this was two pumpkin shapes. So this one is pumpkin latte, pumpkin crunch cake, and rustic lodge. This to me, it was actually really good. I normally don't like um, coffee scents very much, but this was like a coffee with caramel and pumpkin. I don't know if I really get, I don't know what's in Rustic Lodge, but to me it was like a very pumpkin-y caramel latte, kind of like with a bakery undertone, but the, the coffee was like not overpowering because I could get the other scents, but it was strong. But I think coffee tends to be really strong. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I probably wouldn't get it again because I'm not a coffee lover but maybe a scent with some of those other notes in it, I would try again. Okay, October 2nd. Sorry, that's gonna be a little loud. So this one was the Skeleton Key. So Sandalwood and Blue Sage, Berry Waffle Cone and Cotton Frost. Oh my goodness, Cotton Candy Frosting. I was so worried about this one, guys. Like, I can't even tell you, I was like, okay, you're taking my love, Berry Waffle Cone, and you're combining it with who knows what. Um, this was really good. So to me, and maybe it's because my nose picks it out more, um, the Sandalwood and Blue Sage was definitely still really there on Worm. 
and it made it kind of like almost a fresh earthy berry waffle cone. It was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if I'd pick it up again, but I'd definitely be interested in getting her berry waffle cone. And again, it lasted a long time. Absolutely no issues with strength performance. Um, October 3rd. So this one is Salem's Lot. So bite me white cake and pink sugar. I really didn't get the pink sugar at all. Um, I mostly got a fruity scent with maybe a slight, slight of the white cake. This is one of the ones that I really did enjoy. I might pick it up again, but I just, I don't feel like this is a fall scent, like not at all. So I was kind of just disappointed by the scent choice, um, but I love the performance and I would pick this up for like maybe summer. On cold, I do get a little more of the pink sugar, but when it was warming, I really didn't get pink sugar, which I love pink sugar, so I wish it would have come out better. But I think Bite Me, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I think it's a pretty strong scent oil, and so it probably just kind of overpowered the other two. Okay, October 4th. And I love how on these stickers, she has like different little designs. So cute. So this one is Insidious. Um, funnel cake, strawberry pound cake, and apple cider donut. I loved this one. This is, to me, perfect fall scent. It was super strong. I just, I loved this. If she offered this right now, I would buy more. And that apple cider donut, that is such a good apple cider donut. To me, I feel like the apple cider donut on warm was definitely like front and center. And then kind of the strawberry pound cake was just a little bit behind it. That's really good. If she has any other apple cider donut scents that you like, which ones do you really like? Because that, I enjoyed that one a lot. And to me, like I said, that was a perfect fall scent. Okay, October 5th. So this scent is Ginger Snaps. So gingerbread, pumpkin buttercream, and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This was beautiful. This was so good. It was really strong. I absolutely love this scent, but for me, I feel like the gingerbread type notes are more like November, December time, just my preference. I would pick this up again if she offered it more around that time for kind of a Christmassy type scent. Um, to me, it's really the gingerbread that came out strong. Um, I didn't get much pumpkin. It says pumpkin buttercream and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. So I did get like a creaminess with buttercream and marshmallow, but I'm not sure I got much pumpkin. If so, just slightly. It was really the gingerbread to me that really came out on this. And I loved it. Okay, and then today's is October 6th. So this one is... Palo Santo, Dragon's Blood, and Mrs. Claus Cookies. So I am not sure. I, so I think Dragon's Blood is like a patchouli, earthy type scent. Um, and that's really, really what I'm getting out of this. I'm really getting a very earthy scent. I can definitely pick out the patchouli. The Palo Santo I think is really adding to the earthiness. I don't get much bakery. Um, I'm not really getting much of like the Mrs. Claus cookies. I think it's lost with the dragon's blood and the Palo Santo. To me, this doesn't smell exactly like, but it really gives me kind of more of the exorcist type vibes. So I really, really enjoy it. I probably wouldn't get this one particularly again though, because um, I would just get the exorcist. The exorcist to me is kind of the same vibes. Now, maybe to someone who is you know, a lot more into those exact scents all the time, we'll be able to pick out more things. But to me, I really just kind of get the patchouli and the Palo Santo. I don't get much else out of this. It's really good though. I'm really enjoying it. It's super strong. Um, it's in right now, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, but all of these have been lasting like at least 12 hours. So they've been performing amazing. Okay, now for the rest of the bags. Man, this is gonna be a long video, guys, I'm sorry. I'll try and go through these bags a little bit quicker. So candy craze from that Smell Good shop, um, a rainbow of candy flavors, cotton candy and marshmallow. This was really good, performed really well. It was just kind of a really good candy scent. These two, I really don't remember. They're from Sassy Wax Melts. I did them upstairs. So I have caramel, 
pecan pie, caramelized pralines, pie crust, cream brulee. And then this one is fall's coming. So pumpkin pecan waffles, caramelized pralines, frosted and sugar cookies, and funnel cake. So um, her samples are also pretty small. So I feel like I don't get great performance on her samples. But they were, yeah, I don't know. Um, two from the bathing garden. I had whirled through the keyhole. This one I do have notes on. Um, this is a sweet vanilla cream sandalwood and light musk. This was good. I had this going in one of the bathrooms. It performed well. Um, and then toasted sugar cookie and toasted marshmallow. This was in a bathroom. This did well in there as well. Um, sassy girl aroma. We have children of the corn, which is cookie wafers, sweet sugar, vanilla, popcorn, brown sugar, syrupy molasses, and a dash of salt. This was delicious. I loved this. This performed very well. This was a great bakery type scent. Definitely more buttery because of the popcorn. Um, and I don't think it was like super sweet with the brown sugar molasses. I don't know. It was just, it was a good balance. I really enjoyed it. Donuts and apple cider. So apple cider donuts, cinnamon musk vanilla and sugar tonka beans. This one to me was just a medium performance. It wasn't very strong. It started out a little bit stronger, but then it just kind of seemed to fizzle off pretty fast which is not normal at all with Sassy Girl Aroma for me. Okay, super tired, so we have It. So It, I don't it's probably not the right name anymore. Orange zest, pumpkin roll, buttercream, brown sugar, and vanilla ice cream. Um, when I melted this, I was still kind of sick. I really didn't smell much. I melted it again a couple days later in my bedroom and I got a little bit better performance, but for some reason, this one wasn't very strong. But what I could smell, it was really good. I really did get kind of that orange pumpkin-y type scent. But again, I was, I was sick, so I probably shouldn't have melted it when I was sick. Um, Buzz Off. So this one's from 921. This one's honey, green apple, maple, marshmallow, waffle, cone, vanilla bean. This is so good. I loved this one. This is delicious. I definitely will get more of this one. I just, oh, it was such a good apple caramely waffle cone oh it was delicious i loved this um twilight's jacob i don't does that have some notes yeah so rich plum slices brown sugar and pumpkin milkshake this one's pretty pretty old i got like a medium performance on it it did okay i used to really love this scent but i didn't get as much out of it this time but goodness with this label i mean this label is from before these labels, and these ones were from like 19, so this might have been from 2018. Yeah, so I used to love this scent. I don't know if she still has it. I don't know what name it is if she does. If you do, let me know. Um, Mary Jane Watson, this one's from 2019. This is Love Spell and Pink Sugar. Super, super strong still. Blows me out of the house. That's the thing with super tight, super tarts for me, they last a long time. So um, it's not a scent preference of mine anymore. And so I've mainly been using it in like some of my boys' rooms that liked it or the laundry room or things like that. Um, Annabelle, this one's from 920. So good, one of my favorite scents. Brown sugar, pecan pie, and blackberry mallow fluff. I think this would change to October, October Boulevard, maybe. I don't know. It was changed. Um, I love this scent. I have more of it. I always need more. It was in my haul. So if you need to know the correct name, it was in my haul. Um, Pita, again, probably the name has changed. French, ba French baguette, butter, brickle, and coconut shavings. I have this going this morning. It's just beautiful. It's a great bakery scent. Performs very well. Um, I mean, those are two years old and I have absolutely no issues with them. I have a couple from Teddy Bee's. Pumpkin peanut brittle, so pumpkin, roasted peanuts, caramel brittle. Um, it's a Bath and Body Works type. This is just gorgeous. This is so good. It was so strong. It lasted such a long time. Oh, I loved it. I want more. I wish she would pour more. Um, this one's not like a super sweet one. To me, you really get the peanuts and the pumpkin and the caramel is just kind of like an undertone. Oh, it's so good. Um, the Haunted Bakery. This one was so good as well. So this one's zucchini bread, buttercream frosting, and pecan pralines. Absolutely love this one. I would buy more. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, so now onto L3. We have twisted peppermint pink sugar crystals. 
I did not like this one at all. Um, I thought it was going to smell like peppermint pink sugar. No, I don't know what it was. To me, it was gross. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not as bad on cold, but when it was warming, it almost turned maybe like body care-esque vibe. So I don't know. I didn't like it. Love this one, Blizzard Breezes. So this is per Peppermint Spearmint Cream de Menthe a Toasted Mallow. Um, this was two buns. Absolutely love this one at nighttime. Performs super well. I have more. Um, this one was gifted to me. I think it's uh, vanilla oak and vanilla birch and then something else. This was okay. Not my favorite type of scents. I melted this upstairs, uh, mainly in like my boys' rooms and stuff. It performed well. It's just kind of not necessarily along my scent notes. I'm just trying to use up some of these bags. Um, of course, today's October 3rd. I melted that on October 3rd. Love this scent. It's like Sugar Cookie Royale and Palo Santo. Oh, so good. Okay, a few from Closet Full of Wax. So we have Laundry Problems, which is Rose Milk, Lavender, Vanilla, Downy Type, and Marshmallow Clouds. I didn't like it. Um, it performed fine. I used it in my laundry room. Um, Zoinks, which is lemon pound cake, orange cream cupcake, strawberry jam drizzle. This was really good. I enjoyed this one. I'm just not purchasing from her right now. I don't know if I will. Nothing against her, her company, or her sense or anything. Um, this one is Mike Tive. Uh, Fruit Loops, Crunch Berries, Powdered Sugar Donut, and Coconut Cream. This is really good as well. I have good luck with these in my smaller spaces. I don't have enough of them to melt them in my open spaces, so I don't know how they would do. Okay, Rose Girls. We have Rosemary Mint and Peppermint Meringue. This was good, but I don't think I like the Peppermint Meringue. Um, I think I prefer Rosemary Mint and Peppermint. Um, Strawberry Apple Crisp. I love this one. This one was so good. Really enjoyed it. Such a great scent. You really did get that strawberry with the apple. It was delicious. Um, lavender coconut milk. This one was really good. Um, I don't always love lavender scents at night, but I do every once in a while. And so I use this one up. Raspberry Malo bread. So raspberry sauce, marshmallow smoothie, and baked zucchini. This one was really good. She has a really good raspberry. Her raspberry and VCS are my two favorite raspberries. Um, blueberry and donut holes. I've decided I don't like blueberry. So I like a lot of cereal scents like Fruit Loops. Um, I like Fruity Pebbles. I like um, Super Tarts Magically Delicious, but I just, I don't think I like the blueberry scent. And I think it's because it's kind of like a fake blueberry type scent and I just, I don't like it. It's not my preference. It performed fine. So if you like those scents, it did great. Um, spiced Apples and Peaches Ice Cream. I'm trying to remember this one. This one was super, super spicy. Yeah, this one was too spicy for me. I didn't love the spicy level of it. I didn't get a ton of peach. It maybe added a little bit of a different sweetness and scent note. Um, it made it smell like kind of a really cooked apples and peaches, but the spice was very heavy to me. I don't like heavy spice. Um, buttery toast, oh, this is from Swanky. So buttery toast and jam, blueberry pumpkin pecan waffle Noel. This was amazing. This was so good. I loved this one. It was just one of her little chunks. So it wasn't a big piece, but I did it in my bedroom. It was so good. I just loved to just go sit in there and smell it. It was strong. It was a really good blueberry. Um, I don't know if I'm going to order with her next pre-order. I still have a lot of her stuff I'm trying to work through, but I would get this scent again in the future. And my last scent. So Southbound Lemon Cream Puffs. So lemon cookie bars, buttery pasty, pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream, and confectioner sugar. This one's from 122020, and I bought it in a D-stash, so I don't know how it's stored. I got very little scent from this, and I've been noticing that with any of my stuff that's older from her, so I really do need to pull out as much as I can and just kind of finish it up. Um, it doesn't seem to me like these last as long, but again, I got this from a D stash and so I don't know how it was stored beforehand. When I got it, I took it out of the bakery bag and I put it in here. And so I wonder, and I don't know what everyone else thinks, I think that stuff in the bakery bags just loses its scent super, super fast. So tell me what you think. Do you feel like kind of the same thing? 
Um, yeah. So that was a lot. Man, I'm sorry this video was so long. I normally don't have this long of videos. I just really wanted to share some of those things that I had been warming that I thought maybe people would be interested in um, or things that I'm going to be putting away and I won't be sharing empties for a while. So let me know what kind of things you've been working on. What fall scents are you loving? Um, is there anything that you feel like I should try? Especially if you're familiar with Scentsy, is there any good Scentsy ones in the catalog right now you feel like I would like? Um, anyway, I hope that you're having a great day. I should be getting my Brita's custom loaves today. So if I do, I will film that today. Um, if not, I probably won't be able to film it until next week sometime, but that will be coming. Um, otherwise, I just, I don't have anything else coming unless I do end up making another Scentsy order. So I hope that you have a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye.